Would you believe me if I told you that even as a CEO of a seven-figure company, I still deal with the fear of judgment and the fear of rejection? Yep. Literally, the difference between you and I, possibly, is that I don't let it stop me. This past weekend, I had the pleasure of speaking at one of my clients' conferences in Atlanta, and I dealt with a lot of anxiety due to the fact that I hadn't been on stage in a really long time. And this is something that a lot of leaders deal with, but we don't talk about it enough so here are three things that I do to combat this and show up anyway the first thing is I focus on developing a stronger mindset because the reality is that most of us come from trauma where we're riddled with limiting beliefs and we have a lot of things that we need to unlearn the stronger my mindset the less I feel the fear of rejection. It's the less that I think about what other people are going to think or say or do because I'm so focused on what I need to develop. The second thing is I surround myself with supportive peers. It's really important to be in communities where you feel supported. So the mentorship program that I'm in, every single one of my mentee sisters brings something to my world, something to my life and something to my experience as a businesswoman. Number three, I practice positive self talk. This one didn't come natural to me because I come from a Christian background so I don't believe in all the woo woo and when I first started hearing about manifestation and visualization I was like <laughs> this is a bit too much for me but after I started to learn what it really meant it really just means reframing the way you think being aware of the words that you use because what you speak about is what you bring about and here's another thing sometimes the rejection is not always a negative thing Sometimes it's an opportunity for you to become better. 